Hey guys, King of Charmanders here. So my today's shoutcast features my Mega Beam Team, my strongest beam team that I used to climb in the preseason and in season one, which is Ready Steel, Tropius, and Typhlosion. But yeah, that was my strongest beam team. There's, it's still a very consistent team. I've kind of like deviated from it, kind of went off of it, and went to a new team just because as much as I love Mega Beam Team and it can still win consistently, I think it's best with this new meta, the way it's shifted, to switch leads and to try a whole different team. And plus, after two seasons of using the same team, it's gotten me to rank 10, it's won hundreds of battles for me, and beamed hundreds of bunnies for me. I think it's time for something new. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this shoutcast for today. Again, this features my Mega Beam Team, and I might do one again, so stay tuned. All right, so we're getting ready to put in our pass. We got our Mega Beam Team as usual. I've played this team hundreds of times, so you know what? We're good. We get Critterson for our first match, and we get the Azu into the Ready Steel. Now, I know exactly what to do here. The play here is for me to get the Tri Flash Cannon. Well, it really just depends, because yeah, if depending on how your opponent's Azu's IVs are, I might not be able to get to the third one. Get to the first one perfectly here. I can expect a Hydro Pump. The weird thing is that like I, like Azu's used to try to bait before. Now all of them just go straight Hydro. Like there's no such thing as baiting anymore. There's the Hydro Pump right there. Now my opponent's going to get to another, is going to try to get to a player up or an Ice Beam. In this case, I will get my second Hydro can I mean, not my Hydro can my Flash Cannon, like I said. And now I should be able to get a third one, but it really just depends. If you look closely there, I'm really gauging. I should be able to get the Ice, I should be able to get another Flash Cannon here. This is probably an Ice Beam. Correct, this won't KO. And I should be able to get another Flash Cannon. There you go. Barely gets there, but I get another flash cannon. Now my opponent has to choose whether or not he wants to spend the shield or he gives up switch advantage. In this case, my opponent gets, likes to give up switch advantage. And then what we get next, what you got? What you got, bro? We got Deoxys D. I'm going to send in my Tropius to try to take out this Deoxys D. Hopefully you don't have Rock Slide, but let's be real here. Like 90% of freaking Deoxys Ds have freaking Rock Slide. So my opponent elects to throw the Rock Slide. And I here we go. My play here is to just start chunking, throwing leaf blades like throw tomorrow. But because my opponent has rock slide, I'm gonna die to another rock slide, so I have to shield the next move here. My opponent still has two shields. I'll be able to get to another leaf blade before he gets to another rock slide, though. After this one, I have to shield because I don't want to lose my Tropius. Compared to my Typhlosion, my Tropius is my fastest charge move hitter right now. We elect to get shields. There you go. We get one shield. I should be able to get another shield. Come on, baby. Give me that shield. Give me that shield. I need the shield. He switches out into an Altaria. And at this point, it's already GG. Now, the reason why it's GG is because the Typhlosion doesn't beat Altaria. Altaria's Dragon Breath chunks so much that my poor Typhlosion doesn't stand a prayer in this matchup. I can get a bla I can get two Blast Burns off after shielding one Sky Attack, but like I said, because Dragon Munch trucks so much damage, it doesn't even matter. My poor Typhlosion is going to go down, unfortunately. So we in a I elect to shield here. I know this match is probably gonna go south, but you don't. I'm gonna try anyways. We're gonna go over that second Blast Burn. Here comes the Blast Burn. Let's go, baby. Come on. Oh my god. The reason why there's so much sorrow in my voice, yeah, because I know it doesn't KO. We send back in my Tropius, but this thing has so much energy, and all that's going to happen is we're going to feel the power of the North in front of our face, even though he tried so hard to win. He's so key. There goes my Tropius. GG's. There's not a lot to do. When you have Altari in the back, it's so dangerous. Your opponent has such a huge leg up over you. Because, like I said, Dragon Blood chucks so much damage, and Sky Attack, and it just completely walls Tropius. The Sky Attack will do so much damage. It just hurts so much, unfortunately. So here I'm trying to analyze, like, geez, what did I do wrong? After every match, I will always analyze what did I do wrong or how could my opponent won. It's a great way to practice your win conditions and just to figure out, like, how you can improve. With me, with Mega Beam Team, even though I've read it hundreds of times, there's always room for improvement for Mega Beam Team. Always room. You always want to make sure you're doing your best so to get better because... If you get into that mode of trying to get used to getting better, then you can really erase a lot of doubt you have in yourself. And you could really give yourself that like battle that great battler's mentality, because if you lose, you lose. 
there's not a lot you can do if you lose. The only thing you can do is learn and move on, move forward with it. If you lose and you learn something, then you never really lost a battle. I mean, you lost a battle, you didn't get the W, but you know you lost a battle. That's okay. So I'm taking a minute here to get my next battle. Here we go. We finally get it. We get Crypto Tony. Now the last one, I know what I did wrong. There wasn't much I, I could do. Maybe this game I'll be able to take some. I be able to win the lead, or I get some pressure. In this case, we get the Oxus D into our Bridge of Steel. So the moves here is to definitely flash cannon away. But I really like to figure out whether my opponent has Rock Slide or Thunderbolt. If he has Rock Slide, this is great. If he has Thunderbolt, I'm kind of in trouble. So here we go. I'm going for the big flash cannon. And then what happens? We do get it through. Now my opponent's Deoxys D is going to continue to try to smack the crap out of me with these counters. I don't know how... Well, it kind of makes sense that it has counter, you know, longer arms and whatnot. Like, yeah, it, I mean, you're punching stuff. So it is, a, it is a rock slide, which is great, because this means I have a little more breathing room. This means my, my Registeel will live a little longer than usual. I get the second flash cannon off, and then he'd elect to shield. This is great. My opponent needs to throw his energy here. This is definitely another rock slide. There we go. There's the rock slide. Now he's going to try to farm me down. He's probably going to get there, but at this point, I can't really... Oh, never mind. I actually get one more flash cannon. Let's go, baby. So this flash cannon, now my opponent has a choice. He has shield, and he elects the shield so that he can keep switch advantage. Now my opponent is down two shields. I'm going to go ahead and send Typhlosion to get some energy here, but I don't quite get to take out the Deoxys D. In my opinion, I totally should have sent Tropius as a sacrifice, just in case, but I want this extra energy here. So we get all that little bit of extra energy. What do you have in the back? It's an Altaria. <sighs> it's always rough when you got the Altari in the back. So I'm going to attempt to try to burn this thing down. I can get to another Blast Burn, but I have to expend both shields here. So this is already an uphill battle. You never like seeing the Altari in the back because what happens is I either have to put up two Blast Burns to kill it, or I completely wall it with Registeel. Because Registeel is my lead, it's not a lot of chances where I get to juggle into the back. Because this team has no pure safe switch, it's not great. So we do take out the Altaria. Sends in the Reggie Steel. This is perfect because I'm just going to burn you down. But no, I don't even get a chance to burn you down because my opponent decides to quit. Let's go, baby. Let's go on to the next one. And for the next match, who do we get? Who do we get? Who do we get? These are some awesome matches. Like I said, takeaways. Mega Bean Team has won me 100 matches. But still, you know, you go, you run the motions over and over again. There's always something to learn. And so my opponent, we get Necro something, 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 something in numbers. And then we get Registeel into Registeel. Now, here's the problem with me with Registeel in the mirror. I, like, never shield. I will always go for the big blast move. And if my opponent gets that blast, that focus blast through, it's okay. There's a specific way to do this. So he's... It's a flash cannon. Let's go. And when you don't shield and you actually inadvertently call the bait, this is awesome. Focus blast is going to go off. My opponent does shield it. Now, I want to get a second focus blast here, so I'm going to end up shielding his next move. I want both shields down in this scenario. This is really great right now. So, I'm electing a shield here. Only to end up getting jabated once more, which is so bad. He needed to jabate me in order to get some time back, though, which was the right call here. Jabating was definitely the right call. Here comes the big Onda Certera! And he ends up switching into the freaking... Uh, Let's see, Belai. Uh, that was a beautiful catch by my opponent. Mad kudos. I have to send in Tropius to take up this damage. So that's why he's air slashing his way down. Or attempting to at least. Because I have to throw energy eventually. So Leaf Blade is going to go off. And then this should take out the sh this should take out the poor Sableye. And it does. Now with the Sableye gone, we have two Pokemon in the back we can take care of. Well, not really. So we get a Tropius on Tropius action here. We get Banana Beard on Banana Beard. Now here's the problem here. He's trying to J farm me down. I want to do as much damage as humanely possible. So that's why I'm going for the Aerial Ace. Still does quite a bit of damage. My opponent has so much farm now that this is really dangerous. Set in my Registeel and then he spins in his own Registeel. We go for the Giant on the Certera. The problem is here is my opponent still has a shield. There you go. There's the shield. Now, he may not have any shields in, but he does have an energy. He does have energy on his Registeel, so it's going to be it's still an upkill battle from hell. My opponent uses a Flash Cannon. I fall for the bait. Well, not really a bait, because at this range, my 
before freaking Reggie Seal is about to get yeeted. So we get the on the Sertera, and we knock out the freaking Reggie Steel. Let's go, baby. I should be able to take the flat. I should be able to. He has to expend his energy here. This is awesome. Wow. Whew. That all worked out in the end. I switched into my Typhlosion. Now, at this point, the game's already over. I should have switched it. Now, the way I could have improved this battle is I should have switched it earlier. Like, yes, I'm still going to eat the Leaf Blades, but it's better eating the Leaf Blades than to not get your charge move off like over here does this ko leap blade goes off does not ko thank freaking god because if that went through that would have been really dangerous so we get the freaking blast burn bakuretsu and it's ggs Whew. Whew. why would i have the muscle ass i thought that was like the arrow supply line but it's okay there's only so much you could do only so much you could do we get back into the queue and we get who do we get who's our who do we get who do we get it's actually taking us a minute to find an opponent here what is going on i'm not even ranked nine yet bro climbing to rank 10 is gonna be so sweaty in this season too and we get c kc go okay kc go let's go baby what you got what you got obviously we got my rich only lead and we got skarmory okay this is perfect because we win this lead my opponent i switch up the four my opponent immediately switches, doesn't even elect to. It's just Caleb Pang's line. We send in our Tropius into the Shiftry. I don't have to shield anything. I can eat everything Shiftry has to offer. And it makes it really dangerous. Because it still does, as you see, foul play still does chunks the large amount of damage. I end up getting the aerial ace off. I should have went Leap Blade. Because he's gonna, I know for sure this guy's gonna shield. And I elect to not shield here. So we don't shield, but we take so much heavy damage. He might be able to J farm me at this point. Or I farm you, either or. Okay, he decides to throw his energy, which is great. <laughs> out, of I have a fear that he might get farmed and I might get farmed. This is perfect. All right, so we send in our Reggie Steel. We're gonna go ahead and block on down, get all this energy and throw it to whatever's in the back. And we get, my, oh crap. You know, don't ever blind fire like that. If you don't see the typing right away and it like kind of zooms in, like just be careful. We get the Meg into my tro into my Reggie Steel. So my Reggie Steel is just going to go off. As long as I line up my Reggie Steel with the freaking Aerodactyl, I'm okay. But I'm still okay at this point. We grab the shield. That's what I wanted. And now we send the Typhlosion to grab energy. There's the Skarmory. I have energy advantage. You're going to go down, bro. So we get the Bakuretsu on the ping. Burned! So we burn down the Skarmory. The old BBML. Then we get the big game in the back, and my opponent elects to quit. It's okay. Get beamed. There's no way. There's no shame in leaving against the beam. Like I could have done something differently, but it's what it is. It's kind of nice that I still have a battle yet here, because now who do we get? Who do we get? This is our last set for the our last battle. Not our last set. Last battle of the day, guys. Who do we get? Who do we get? Mega B D has done it. We are two and two right now, so we need this W. And our opponent is Great Leons. I think I know this guy. Actually, I think I know him. Oh, we get the shift tree into the Reggie Steel. So here's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go straight for the Onda Sertera. Here we go. I'm tapping. I'm tapping. I'm tapping. What you got? He elects to switch out, and then I fire. Wait, what did I fire into? Oh, this is so bad. He timed that perfectly. We fire into AWAC. Okay, so AWAC is dangerous here. Really dangerous, actually, because. He does so much damage, it's ridiculous. Can we get the Marowak? The Mar like, both clubs don't do a lot of damage, but they kind of chunk a lot over here. So I'm going to shield both. I'm going to farm down this AWAC, which is the usual play I'll do versus AWAC. Although I type Flosion into the AWAC. And then attempt to farm down, or I'll burn you down either way. How you want it, when you want it, and you're going to get it. Now, Bakunatsu! So we managed to take out a huge chunk of health right there. And then we get the Bastion. Okay, this is when things get dicey. So Bastion's gonna farm me down. Now I have to send in Reggie Steel. And I have to pop that second shield. The trick here is to bait. I'm gonna go straight for the big bombs play though, just in case. Trying to shield this because it's obviously a flamethrower. Flamethrower goes off. And then he combos into the Shiftry. Now nothing Shiftry has to offer here will actually KO me. It does do a lot of damage though. 
So I locked the switch into my Tropius. Now that I switch into the Shiftry, which is usually the other way around because I always switch by PvP Shiftry into their fighter counter. But this is okay. So we managed to get some more charge moves off. Even more charge moves, yo. Managed to get the sleep bait off. Let's go, baby. What you got? So we grabbed that last shield. That's exactly what I wanted here. We're going to attempt to farm down. Except I know how much damage Shiftry does. So if I underestimate this long, it's going to be a really uphill battle. He definitely uses a foul play. This is awesome because my Tropius is a thick boy too. Thick boy indeed. I wasn't supposed to fire this charge move, but I did anyways. We do, and then we get the Bastiodon. Hi, Bastiodon. Bastion is here, but my opponent still has a shield, so it's still dangerous. I have to pop that shield. Come on, baby. Give me that last shield. Unless he's going to just eat directly eat the Onsir Terror. He doesn't. He decides to shield. This is beautiful. All right. Now, this is still scary, but you know what? My Sato is winning here. This is perfectly fine. All right. So, we opt. We opt. The f I'm going to go for the second one. And... Oh, I don't even get it. This is GG. Oh, man. That's painful. Ugh. I need to debate and then go for the big freaking Ondasir Terra, but it's okay. It's okay, guys. Like I said, if you don't lose, you don't learn. And if you don't learn, you haven't really gained anything from that battle. You will never lose in a kind of, like, context way. Like, what I think is that I just think like, it's okay. I'm, it's literally okay to lose because I've seen it in so many other franchises. In, like, League, in, like, Dota, in, like, literal, like, all shooty combat sports. Like, I mean, not combat, like, esports. I've seen it. So we get a Ruffy here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A Ruffy is a sweet reward after going through that entire battle. I have quite the collection here. But I hope you guys please like, subscribe, and comment below if you guys like this video. I'll be trying to do this every day. So thank you so much for all the love and support. And make sure y'all just keep on tapping.